Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. In today's video, it's 67 days to go into your exam, so 67 days to go, and today's topic we're going to focus on is equations. So equations is an important topic, so in this video we're going to look at how to solve equations, and then I'm going to give you some questions to do on that, so feel free to pause the video and to try those questions, and then at the end I'll talk about the practice questions. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at solving equations. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself. Because obviously with something like solving equations, you probably have solved a lot of equations before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some quite straightforward equations. I'm going to give you a chance to pause the video to try these questions. And then as we move on to some harder ones, then I'll give you some questions perhaps with letters on both sides and brackets and things like that. So in this video, we're going to focus on solving equations. And later on these 100 day videos, we'll then look at forming and solving equations. So let's have a look at these first two equations. We've got W plus 5 equals 30. One, and we've got x subtract 4 equals 9. So press pause now and try these two questions. Okay, so our first one, we've got w plus 5 equals 31, but we want to get the w on its own, so we want to get rid of this plus 5. So the inverse operation of adding 5 is subtracting 5, so we're going to take away 5 and take away 5 from both sides of this equation. So on the left-hand side, we had w plus 5, we took away 5, well, we took away 5 to get rid of the plus 5, so we're just going to be left with w. On the right-hand side of the equation, we're going to have, well, 31, take away 5 will be equal to 26. So we get the w equals 26. We can just check that, 26 plus 5, it's 31. And if you got that, well done. Okay, next equation x take away 4 equals 9. Well, we've got x subtract 4, but we don't want this subtract 4 in this left-hand side, so we're going to do the inverse operation, which is add 4. So we're going to add 4 to both sides of this equation. So on the left-hand side, we had x take away 4. We added 4 to get rid of the take away 4, because minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So we're just going to be left with the x. And on the right-hand side, we had 9 plus 4. That's equal to 13. So x equals 13. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next two questions. Okay, this time we've got 4x equals 24 and c over 2 equals 9. So press pause and try these two questions. Okay, let's have a look at our first one. So we've got 4x equals 24. So we've got multiply by 4 here. We would just want to get the x on its own. So we want to get rid of the multiply by 4. So we're going to divide by 4 and divide by 4. So 4x divided by 4 would just be x, 1x, or just x. And on the right-hand side, we have 24 divided by 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So it means that x equals 6. And we can check it. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Fantastic. Okay, next question. We've got c over 2 equals 9, or c divided by 2 equals 9. So we don't want this over 2 or divided by 2. So we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So we're going to multiply by 2 to get rid of the divide by 2. So c divided by 2, well, we multiply by 2 to get rid of the divide by 2, so we're just going to be left with c. And on the right-hand side, with 9, multiplied by 2 is equal to 18. And let's just check that. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So that's it. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so our next question is 4w take away 7 is equal to 13, and c over 2 plus 5 is equal to 12. So feel free to press pause now and try these two questions. Okay, let's have a look at this first one. Well, we want to find out what w is. So we want to get rid of this take away 7, and we want to get rid of this multiplied by 4. So let's get rid of the take away 7 to begin with. So we're going to add 7 and add 7. So on our left-hand side, we had 4w take away 7. We added 7 to get rid of the take away 7, so we're just going to be left with 4w. And on the right-hand side, we had 13 plus 7 is equal to 20. So we've got 4w equals 20. Well, we don't want this multiplied by 4, so we're going to divide by 4 and divide by 4. And if we do 4w divided by 4, we're just going to be left with w. And then 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the answer would be w equals 5. Let's just check that. 4 times 5 is 20. Take away 7 is 13. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we've got c over 2 plus 5 equals 12. So we want to find out what c is. We want to get rid of this plus 5, and then we want to get rid of this divide by 2. So let's get rid of the adding 5 to begin with. So we're going to do the inverse operation, which is subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So on the left-hand side, we had c over 2 plus 5. We took away 5 to get rid of the add 5, so we're just going to be left with c over 2. And on the right-hand side, we had 12, take away 5, that's equal to 7. So we've got the c over 2 equals 7. Well, we don't want this to divide by 2, so we're going to multiply by 2 and multiply by 2. And c divided by 2, we're multiplying by 2 to get rid of the divide by 2, so we're just going to be left with c. And 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. So we get the c equals 14. And let's just check that. 14 divided by 2 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Perfect. So c equals 14. And if you got those, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So now we're going to look at an equation with letters on both sides. And if you want to have a go at this, feel free to press pause and have a go at this question now. Okay, so if I was solving this equation with letters on both sides, I tend to want to get rid of the lowest numbers of the letters. So we've got 5x's, and here we've got 2x's. So 2x's is the lowest number, so I'm going to get rid of the 2x's. So let's take away 2x's, and let's take away 2x's. So on the left-hand side, we had 5x's plus 1. We're taking away 2 of the x's, so we're going to be left with 3x's plus 1. 
And on the right hand side, we have two x's, we're taking our two x's, so that gives us zero, and we've still got a plus 19, so we're then gonna have that's equal to 19. Now we just need to solve this equation, so just like before, we're gonna take away one and take away one, and that would give us a three x equals 18. And finally, we don't want this multiplied by three, so we're gonna divide by three and divide by three, and we're gonna get the x equals six. So x equals six, and we can test that. Five times six is 30, plus one is 31. So the left-hand side is 31. And the right-hand side, two times six is equal to 12, plus 19 is 31. So we've got 31 equals 31, perfect. Okay, so here's another question for you to try. We've got four x plus five equals 80, subtract x. So feel free to pause this video and try this question. Okay, so whenever I'm solving an equation like this, I like to give it the lowest number of x's. So we've got four x's and we've got subtract x or minus one x. So that's the lowest number, this minus one x. So we're going to want to get rid of this. So to get rid of minus one x, we're going to add a one x or add x to both sides. So let's add x to the left hand side and add x to the right hand side. So four x's plus x would be five x's and we've still got our plus five. And on our right hand side, we had 80 subtract x. We added x to get rid of the subtract x, so we're just going to be left with 80. So we've got five x plus five equals 80. We want to get rid of this, add 5, so we're going to take away 5 and take away 5. So on our left hand side, we'll be left with 5x. And on our right hand side, we'll be 80, take away 5, that's going to be 75. And finally, we want to get rid of this, multiply by 5, so we're going to divide by 5 and divide by 5, and that will give us the x equals, and 75 divided by 5 is 15. So it means the x equals 15. And let's just check that. 4 times 15 is 60, plus 5 is 65. And on this right hand side, 80, take away 15 is 65, so perfect. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time I would like you to solve five brackets, two y plus seven, close brackets, equals 60. So feel free to press pause and try this question. Okay, so if I was to do this question, there's actually two different ways I might approach this question. One approach is because I've got five multiplied by this bracket, I could start off by dividing both sides of this equation by five. So I could divide by five and divide by five. So dividing by five, we'll get rid of the multiply by five. So just be left with the bracket, which is two y plus seven. And because it's on its own, I don't need to put the bracket there. And on the right hand side, I had 60 divided by five and 60 divided by five is 12. So I've just divided both sides by five. Now we want to solve this. So I want to get rid of this add seven. So I'm going to take away seven and take away seven from both sides. So I get on the left hand side, two y. And on the right hand side, we have 12 take away seven. That's going to be equal to five. And then finally, we're going to divide by 2 and divide by 2, and then we're going to get the y equals, and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So y equals 2.5, and we can test that. 2 times 2.5 is 5, plus 7 is 12, 5 times 12 is 60. So that's one way we could solve that equation. Now, actually, if I was doing this equation, I would tend to actually expand the brackets. That's the approach I would typically use myself. I would do 5 times 2y is 10y and 5 times 7 is 35 so plus 35 equals 60. Then I would take away 35 from both sides of the equations. Take away 35 and take away 35. On the left hand side I'd be left with 10y and on the right hand side I had 60. Take away 35 is equal to 25 and finally I would divide by 10 and divide by 10 and I would get the y equals 2.5. So that's probably the approach I would use on this side but actually this approach is probably a wee bit easier just dividing both sides by 5 but it's up to you. And if you got that well done. Okay let's have a look at another question. Okay, this time we've got an equation with letters on both sides and brackets on both sides. So I have a go at solving two bracket, two x plus one, close brackets, equals three, and then in brackets, x minus five, close brackets. So have a go at that now. Okay, so if I was to solve this question, the first thing I would do is expand the brackets. Two times two x is four x, and then we've got plus, and then two times one is two. So expanding this bracket would be four x plus two. Then expanding this side, 3 times x is 3x, and then we've got subtract, and 3 times 5 is 15. So we've just expanded our brackets there. Now we want to solve this equation. So here, let's look at the letters. We've got 4x's and 3x's. I want to get rid of the lowest number of x, which should be 3x's. So I'm going to take away 3x's and take away 3x's. If I take away 3x's from the left hand side, 4x's take away 3x's would be 1x, or just x, and we've still got our plus 2. And then on the right hand side, we had three x's take away three x's, that's zero. But then we've got minus 15, so it's just gonna be minus 15. And then finally, we've got x plus two equals minus 15, but we don't want this plus two, so we're gonna take away two and take away two. So on the left hand side, we'll be left with x. And on the right hand side, we have minus 15, take away another two, we'll go down another two, it'll be minus 17. And if you got that, well done. Okay, so we've had a look at some equations. We started off looking at some straightforward ones, and then we got to ones which had letters on both sides with brackets and things like that. Here's some more questions for you to try, so feel free to pause this video and to solve these equations, and then we'll go through them. Okay, so let's have a look at our first equation. We had 8w subtract 17 equals 7. So I would add 17 to both sides of this equation to begin with to get rid of the minus 17. So on the left-hand side, we'll just be left with 8w. And on the right-hand side, we had 7 plus 17. That's equal to 24. 
Then I would divide by 8 and divide by 8 to get rid of the multiply by 8. So we just be left with w equals, and 24 divided by 8 is 3. So w equals 3, and if you got that, well done. Okay, next question. Okay, this time we've got w plus 3 all over 5 equals 6. And so if I was solving this equation, I'd want to get rid of this big divide by 5. So I'm going to multiply by 5 and multiply by 5. On the left-hand side, we're multiplying by 5 to get rid of the divide by 5. So we'd just be left with w plus 3. And then on the right-hand side, we had 6 times 5. That's going to be 30. And then finally, we had w plus 3 equals 30. Let's take away 3 and take away 3. And we get the w equals 27. So w equals 27. Perfect. And if you got that, well done. Okay, next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. We've got 7w subtract 4 equals 5w plus 7. So let's get rid of our lowest numbers of w's, which would be 5w. So let's take away 5w and take away 5w. On our left-hand side, we had 7w. We're taking away 5w. That's then 2w minus 4. And on the right-hand side, we had 5w. We're taking away the 5w, so we're just going to be left with 7. Now, we want to find out what w is, so let's get rid of this take away 4. So let's add 4 and add 4. On the left-hand side, we'll be left with 2w. And on the right-hand side, we've got 7 plus 4 is 11. And then finally, we don't want this multiplied by 2, so we're going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. And we're going to get the w equals 5.5. So if you got that, well done. Okay, let's look at our last question. So our last question, we've got brackets and we've got letters on both sides and things like that. So let's start off by expanding our brackets. 5 times 3c, that would be 15c. And then 5 times minus 2 would be minus 10. And then we've still got our takeaway 7c, so takeaway 7c. And that's equal to 40 subtract 2c. Now, if we have a look at this left-hand side, we've got 15c, we've got 15c here, and then we've got subtract 7c. And 15c take away 7c would be 8c. So that'd be 8c, and then we've still got our subtract 10, equals 40 subtract 2c. Now, we want to solve this, so let's look at our letters. We've got letters on both sides here. We've got 8c and minus 2c. Let's get rid of this minus 2c, so let's add 2c to both sides to get rid of that because it's the lowest one. 8c plus 2c is 10c, and then we've still got our subtract 10. It's equal to on our right-hand side with 40 minus 2c plus 2c. They cancel out, you get 0, so we're just left with 40. And then finally, if we want to solve this equation, well, we've got 10c subtract 10 equals 40, so let's add 10 and add 10. So we're going to get on the left-hand side, 10c. And on the right-hand side, we had 40 plus 10, that's 50. And then our last step is we've got 10 multiplied by C. We don't want this multiplied by 10, so we're going to divide by 10 and divide by 10. And we're going to get that C equals 5. And that's it, that C equals 5. And if you got that, well done. Now, in this video, we're focused on solving equations. I really hope you found it useful. Um, I would highly recommend the practice questions there because it'd be really good if you're really amazing at solving uh, equations because it's a skill that's going to be quite useful, especially whenever we look at a later topic called forming and solving equations. So these skills will practice again in that topic, but it's really important you're able to solve equations in your GCSE maths exam. And that's it. So that's how you solve equations. But in this video, we're focused on equations. It's really important you can do that. So make sure you, on the description below, you go to those practice questions and you do more practice on solving equations. So I hope you find this video useful if you have found it useful please like and subscribe to the youtube channel and just keep up the hard work and i'll see you at three o'clock tomorrow for the next one cheers bye